Gursinga off the mark. Forced to open the innings in the absence of Roshan Mahanama. Manoj Prabhaka is the danger. Well struck on the offside past Rajesh Chawan. But the outfield extremely slow. Good bit of fielding there. Madhur Singh made a fine half century in the first match. And he has made some good scores in important matches at this venue. So he's confident. Kabilev over pitching and very firmly struck on the offside square. And that's four very good runs to Chandika Madhur Singh. He's gone. Rajesh Chawan, the fielder. And 22 minutes into the game, Sri Lanka lose their first cricket with the total at 27 in the 8th over. Gursinga going for the off drive, played it upishly, and a very well anticipated catch by Rajesh Chawan. Probably Hashan Tilkaratna also forced to bat higher up in the order. And Sri Lanka has to consolidate at this stage. He's a useful batsman and a good right hand left hand combination would do a lot more to the Sri Lankan batting. Edges it safely. That's very good work there by Javaka Srinath. Covered a lot of grounds and then made a safe collection. Kapil Dev expensive and erratic. But Javagal Srinath coming into the attack as first change. The ball plays past uh, Mohamed Azuruddin. Sachin Tendulkar, double bowling change in the 11th over. A well struck onto his pads and very firmly hit indeed. That's good batting by Hashan Tilakaratna. Although the run is not coming at the same pace Sri Lanka may have liked. Confident appeal, Tendulkar was tightening up during the early stages. Edges it upishly, safely into the gap. And another safe collection by Navjot Sidhu on the boundary. And approaching, Sri Lanka made 50 in the 16th over. Direct hit by the bats on the home. 20th over and this is the 5th bowler tried. That would have been close had it hit the stumps. 66 minutes in 16.4 overs. Wrapped on the bat, he's gone. No mistake about that. Well bowled Chawan. It's 2 for 82 in the 26th over. Hashan Tilakaratna, the batsman out. a lot of time he was out for 23 and the partnership although made some runs took a lot of time Arvind and De Silva made 62 in the first game much depends on the Sri Lankan vice captain Kumble expected into the attack later call for the Sri Lankan batsman. Sajin Tenduka is a fine fielder at mid wicket. Saw the possibility of having Aravinda De Silva. It would have been curtains down had he hit the wickets. Full toss. Well played. That's not the best of efforts. Four runs. Deserved to Very good recovery by the bowler and Chandika Hathur Singh departs. 3 for 103 in the 32nd over. You don't take too many chances with champion cricketers and that's exactly what happened. Very poor effort on the part of both batsmen and Hathur Singh was too far down. Skipper Arjun Ranatunga in. A lot depends on him. Here's Kumle, the sixth bowler for India. 
That's where Arjuna scores most of his runs in one day cricket. Then 28 minutes of batting. Veshrak, but straight to the field. He's gone. Mohamed Azharuddin has a safe pair of hands. And Sri Lanka in trouble at 4 for 109 in the 34th over. Aravind De Silva disappointed. And this was a very good breakthrough by Kapil Dev. Had a hand in both dismissals in consecutive overs of his as Sanat Jayasurya walked in. So two left-handers at the middle. Well placed on the offside. Excellent running between wickets. Jayasurya one of the quickest and Vinod Kamli couldn't beat him. This is champagne cricket. A very good pick up and throw by Vinod Kamli coming in from the boundary. But see Jayasurya. He's so quick and made his ground with a lot of time to spare. Pratunga neatly turned off. Misfielded. Kamli would regret it. Pratunga also a very quick mover. Well played and equally well placed. Midway through. Made room. Didn't quite hit it where he intended. Randung has to hurry. He makes it. Well struck. That was short. A long chase there for the fielder. He won't make it. Four runs. That the scoring rate uh, well below what Sri Lanka may have really wanted but plenty of batting to come in the Sri Lankan tail. Oh, played an ambitious stroke. He was not happy with the decision but umpire Patirana had other ideas. Sanat Jayasuri reports it's 5 for 142 in the 41st over. It was a good partnership between the captain and Sanat Jayasuri. 33 runs coming in 30 minutes of batting. One of two changes, Ramesh Kalvitharna comes in to bat. Jeffrey played. Sri Lanka needs runs. Whichever way it comes, at the end anything could happen. Oh, that's not good cricket. He made that single into a couple. Randunga home but barely of the wicket keeper. Direct hit. He's gone. That's good cricket by Manoj Prabhaka. Romesh Kalavitarn out. It's 6 for 158 in the 44th over. Randunga looked and called for that single. And look at that. Fine throw. Mohamed Azharuddin dead on target. Ruan Kalpage can bat if the need arises. So India really supporting their bowlers very well. Srinath dropping it short. Beautifully played by Arjuna Ranadunga. And an equally good effort from the Indian sweeper cover. Prabhaka in. Pranatunga in full cry. Leading the onslaught from the front. Beats the fielder. Four runs. Kumle. Okay, well struck once more. Made room for himself. That will be four runs on the offside. Fine stroke from Arjuna Ranatunga. Uh, the chance is there. Well struck. That is 21st one day half century and the first in 16 matches since Australia in the World Cup against South Africa. Goes for the big hit. He didn't make it quite. 
comfortably taken in the end by Sachin Tendulkar. Arjun Ranatunga departs. 7 for 202. The 200 coming up in the 49th over of 209 minutes of batting. Success for Prabhaka once more. Really launched himself into a big stroke in the penultimate over. Didn't quite get it. And at this stage, Sri Lanka's batsman had scored only seven boundaries and that too coming off the bats of six different Sri Lankan batsmen. Promote the Vikram Singh the new batsman in. Every run matters at this stage. And after Sri Lanka really struggled in the midway through, this is a relatively good total. And 63 runs coming in the last 10 overs. The acceleration was always there. Kalpagir's partnership with Arjuna Ranatunga was 44 runs. And Ranatunga and Jai Surya also steadying the innings. And ball was tried by the Indian captain. And although Prabhaka had two wickets and was supported by Chauhan who had two, the others really did not impress. And Kumble's uh, wicketless performance of concern for India. But Tendru Lanka's defense of the total. Ramanayaka the bowler to Manoj Prabhaka. The asking rate fractionally above 4 and should they field quite tight it could be a challenging one inspired fielding he must be quite a tired man Ranatunga really stretched himself running between the wickets Vikram Singha has the breakthrough Navjot Sindhu departs caught by Hashan Tilakaratna the pair had put on a 77 run partnership in the previous one day match but Sri Lanka striking win the second over of the innings and promote the first calmly the new batsman he has not impressed in the one day matches but uh, made two centuries in the test series so he's confident and the crowd absolutely elated Well struck by Manoj Prabhaka, he's in fine touch. That was a cracking cover drive and that brings him the first boundary. Well played by Vinod Kamli. But inspired fielding here by Sri Lanka and that was Aravinda De Silva at mid-off. Wrapped on the pad, he's gone. Ramo De Vikram Singh are absolutely elated and India have lost their second wicket with a total at 16 in the 6th over. Kept that ball in line with the stumps. Forced calmly onto the back foot and then there was no question about that decision. But Azaruddin took a gamble, came in ahead of Sachin Tendulkar. He has taken two centuries of Sri Lanka in one day cricket. Well struck, very firmly played and this is good cricket, Azaruddin exquisite timing on that ball that earned him a boundary and it's not easy to score boundaries at the Ketarama. Should have been cut off, two fielders failing to get to that ball, Asanga Gurusinghe finally gets there. Hit the wickets, didn't touch Ramanayaka's hand, it didn't pass that wicket. Well struck over the top, still 15 overs and the fielders have to be within the circle. Arvind De Silva fields. So good cricket by Manoj Prabhaka, he got 3 runs to that. And again another waiver delivery, again going over the top this time to cover. Kalpagi has the long chase. So Prabhaka batting extremely well. 60 minutes of batting. Guru Singha, first change, slower delivery, dropped it short and Azaruddin scores his second boundary. Azaruddin down the track. That was a close call. 
Very poor understanding between the two batsmen and Jayasuriya finally cut it off. But Azharuddin really was hearing down the track. Read it on the onside of the wicket. But good call by Manish Prabhakar. Murli Dharan. Oh, he dropped it. Came a long way to get his hands to it. And he dropped it. Prabhaka, a life there for him. Excellent effort by the bowler. Well, that was uh, very firmly struck over the top on the onside. Four runs, Wakan mid wicket region. Prabhaka striking extremely well. Azaruddin down the track, hoisting that one over. That went a long way. And that's six. Six runs of Muralindaran's sixth over. Again down the track. Similar stroke to the very next delivery. And it was six once more. Fifteen runs coming off for that Muralindaran over. Ruan Kalpagi introduced into the attack. The 50 partnership between the two batsmen coming up in 55 minutes of 12.5 overs. Position. Manoj Prabhakar's fourth one day half century playing in his 93rd match. Again, wide of the field, four more. Prabhakar batting with a lot of assurance. That was his fourth boundary. India's 100 coming in the 26th over of 103 minutes of batting. Azharuddin quietly turns it over. And that's his second half century at the Ketarama in successive matches. And he's... Samad Jasuriya introduced into the attack. Lofted on the offside. Fine shot from Manoj Prabhaka. He's hitting that ball with a lot more ease. Drop it. Straight into his hands. And that's the second life for Manoj Prabhaka. Pramod Vikram Singha should not give any excuses. Azharuddin goes over the top. He scored at mid-on by Asanka Gurusinghe. That was just after the second water break with India on 152 and it's 3 for 152 in the 36th over. 89 balls and hit two sixes and two boundaries. So the Indian vice captain coming in. Straight away off the mark with a fluent on drive. Delightful stroke player. The 150 of the innings coming in 141 minutes of batting in the 35th over. That was missed. Romesh Kaluvitarana fails together. He turned a long way. He had moved but didn't make it. So Sajin Tendulka gets a life. Sanat Surya to Manoj Prabhaka. Down the track. Plays it officially. Taken well by Ruan Kalpake at cover. So it's 4 for 175 in the 42nd over. Prabhaka, fine knock, 172 minutes. And he hit four boundaries, facing up to 126 balls. Praveen Amre has not succeeded for India. He's off the mark, nevertheless. Bad fielding by Arjun Ranthung, he was off. Two wickets have fallen since his return. Hold him! Praveen Amre gone! That ball turned a long way. It's 5 for 178 in the 43rd over. This was Murali Dharan's last over and a rich reward for the bowler. First forward, then back, trying to play it through vacant slip. That's the third time Praveen Amre was out in that fashion. Kapil Dev. The new batsman in. Wrapped on the pad. He's gone without scoring. Six for 179 in the 44th over. He was not pleased, but there was no doubt about that decision. Wrapped from in front and Jayasuriya striking well. Is the
wicket keeper. Bold him. Played across the line. 7 for 180 in the 45th over. Sri Lanka getting back into this game. Yadav down the track. It was too early for him to do something special. Hitting leg stump and well bowled. The feeling was absolutely fabulous at this stage. Neatly played. Oh, a wild throw from the Sri Lankan captain. Really, there shouldn't have been any run. And finally, India made two. Tendulkar turns him. He wants to get the strike. The throw comes in. He's gone. Sachin Tendulkar is out. Eight for 189 in the 46th over. India losing wickets at regular intervals. And a superb effort from Chandika Hathru Singer. He had almost everything right with that one. A perfect collection and a beautiful return right into the gloves of Romesh Kaluvitharna with Sachin Tendulkar desperately lunging to make ground but well short of it. Very good decision. Rajesh Chawan, the new batsman, but Kumle taking strike. Drives on the offside. The field was packed on the on. Hashan Tilakaratan, the fielder, a couple to Anil Kumle, really brought to their feet at this stage. Full toss, he's gone! Rajesh Chauhan is out. Caught and bowled by Ruan Kalpage, picking up his second wicket. The penultimate over here, and India in deep trouble. Two wickets in 16 balls, Ruan Kalpage, in his sixth over. Firmly struck. But Kalpage had it all well covered. The last man in was Javagal Srinath and the entire Sri Lankan team had rallied around their captain to make sure. Aravinda De Silva came into bowl the 48th over, bowled a very tight one and here he is in the final over. Wrapped up the pad, it's all over. Aravinda De Silva strikes, four balls remaining and Sri Lanka have made it by eight runs. This was the case in the first one international. Four balls remained and see the jubilation in the Sri Lankan team. They richly deserved it. Kept that ball in line with the stumps. And although a lot of people would have questioned umpire Patirana's decision to give the batsman out, nobody would have questioned Sri Lanka's right to win this match. Azharuddin completed 4,000 runs. Involved in a third wicket stand, which is the highest for India in one day matches against Sri Lanka for any wicket. And three batsmen failed to score, four others failed to get into double figures, and Sri Lanka considered very few extras. That was the story. Inspired spell from Promo Divikram Singer, the highest wicket taker, but the spinners did the rest, bowled well within themselves, and bowled Sri Lanka to victory. A